It is a heavyweight collision between Sean Jones and Anderson Silva. Still owns the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go for it. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts, when you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbin and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s, that is the goal again tonight. So one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silk. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is and because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. And when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jackson, then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time and of course as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is 33. Silva is 45. Jones weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a musical coach. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones. John! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready to fight? Good. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA 
on display tonight. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Jones gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses with the straight left hand. Leg kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Keep pushing forward. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Silva. Throws the right hand there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Silva lands flush. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it. Target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title wrapped right around him. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Oh, collar tie. Straight punch land. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go. The start of round two. John Jones and the future UFC Hall of Famer, Anderson Silva. Look at him with his hips into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only a diverse striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets to the opponent's hurt, he knows where to find the spot in their night. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And just below 50% landing at a... Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Nice kick landed there by Silva. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Miss with that right hand. Good punch. Under three minutes now to go in round two. He missed with that jab attempt there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. A 
effective punch there by Johnny Bone. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful striking display as we have come to expect from the great John Jones. Yeah, John Jones is diverse. He's one of those guys that will never give you an idea of where he's going with his strikes. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big left. How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice leg kick. And they separate. So 64 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And landing with 46% accuracy tonight against Anderson Silva. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Oh, my Lord! Blocks the shot. Nice punch by Jones. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Little single call. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow on the guard. Can't take many of those. You better check. Silva gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh!
All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Good jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Silva gets the tie clinch here. Just out of range with that left hook. Visibly limping here. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Big kick lands. Big elbow there, Lance. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Effective punch there by Johnny Bone. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Twenty seconds left. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Slips there. Nice liver shot. Oh! He's hurt. He throws him up. Go get him. Well, Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, taken down. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Silva. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get up? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the... Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to... And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he chokes him to sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John in is my encyclopedia. My guy. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, John Jones! The celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight.